Hey everyone, back from camp, been back for uh, nearly a week now and I finally had a chance to do a bit of a video and when I was uh, searching around having a clean up of, uh, of a relative's um, attic um, on Wednesday night and uncovered this little beauty. Now unfortunately it isn't actually a PowerBook 145 it's not actually an Apple computer um, that we have in here although this is the exact same box that my father's PowerBook 145 came in and this is actually the first computer that I ever used and on the side of the box it's quite funny um, to read what it says uh, Apple Distribution Centre 9 Wilkins Street Freeman Bay Auckland New Zealand Macintosh PowerBook 145 4 megabytes of RAM, 1.4 megabyte FDHD floppy drive, 40 megabyte SCSI hard disk, assembled in the United States of America, Apple Computer Inc. It's a cool little thing, but what's actually in here is actually still very interesting. And it is what my dad bought with his original PowerBook, and that would be. an Apple style writer printer. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to clean her up a little then um, plug her in. I've been on the Apple site and you know, I found their archived help files last updated June 1st 1997 and um, I'm going to s I've found out how to force this to print a test page because I don't have uh, any compatible hardware to connect it to. It uses the old um, uh, ADB style printer port um, but I'm going to connect it up because I have the power brick and everything uh, and see if it'll work and if it'll print me a test page or not. Um, so let's, let's clean up. So there we go, I've um, cleaned her out a little, got all the dust out. Um, yeah, the plastic's going yellowy, there are a number of fixes for that. Um, quick Google will get you those. Uh, but I don't have the, the uh, resources to do that as of now. I'll probably end up doing that at some point. So we open up the front of the printer and we see where the ink cartridge is and someone's stuck in a, um, a Canon cartridge in here. Which, by the sounds of things, still has some ink flowing in it. Which is a funny little thought, that. So that just goes in here. And then... Flick. Oh, hang on. How on earth do we... Here we go. Upgrade roll down. <laughs> and, oh, there we... Oh! So you put that thing there, and then... Look at, okay, that's a cool little system. Um, but yeah, I've cleaned out all the junk from in here. Um, so she's looking pretty good right now. So I'm going to pull down the um, paper feeder. I think that's what that is. Yep, alright. I'm going to connect her back up. Okay. Clip her in. And uh, she's all ready to go. So, let's see if she still works. This is a 14 year old printer. If this blows up in my face and I die, well, there you have it. Okay. Okay, she's plugged in. Hit the power button. Got to go. Ooh. She says it's ready for input, the error light isn't on. Uh, yeah, power lights on, ready lights on. So, um... Oh! Now I've got, now I've got a little era light on. 
which I can only assume <laughs> means that this little ink cartridge is uh, out, which wouldn't surprise me at all. Hold down the form feed button, press the power button, release. Oh my god guys, it's actually, it's printing something, it's printed something really scratchy. Uh, assumedly because the uh, the ink in this thing is pretty dead. In fact, I'm amazed the little guy managed this. He is getting jammed in here. If I just yank, I've got it. And uh, look what he's managed. Hey, look. <laughs> Apple style writer. Not bad for an ink cartridge that is probably pretty, um, pretty rooted, one would say. So, I'm going to try and track down a new cartridge for that, and see what kind of printing, see if I can get that test page looking a little bit better. But for now, that's pretty good progress. If anyone uh, knows more about the style writer and wants to pass on some information to me about it, um, make a comment, send me a YouTube message, or fire through an email to nerdsrock1992 at aim.com uh, yeah bringing you the Apple Style Writer in my next video which is also should be up now I'm going to talk about another bit of retro I found which is this book called The Internet for Max for Dummies which was also part of the package that Dad brought his power book in so uh, more retro coming up cheers guys